All right, so me and my friend Sarah here, we just had a small discussion over lunch and we were discussing credibility on social media, on Instagram, on YouTube, and just overall on social media. And we thought that all these thoughts and ideas are kind of important to share with the world because we kind of agree on the same principles, values when it comes we to... We got very passionate. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to share. That sounds really wrong as well. <laughs> when it comes to creating um, any account anywhere, because I think it's very important to know why you are doing it and what you are trying to achieve with it and who you are trying to influence, since the word influencer became very common, very used, and yeah, that's just what we want to talk about a little bit, because sure. recently both of us, we were getting... Not similar, we were getting even the same offers on Instagram uh, to do certain stuff, to get some products, whatever it was. And we both didn't like the way we were approached or stuff like that by brands, by companies. Or we just didn't like the way some companies treat other people, other so-called influencers on Instagram. Um, now, if you don't know us, my name is Matt, this is Sarah. I am not particularly big on any platform when it comes to numbers i have like 3000 followers on instagram i'm just kind of slowly growing youtube very slowly i have like 200 300 subscribers sarah here you have like 42000 okay. followers on instagram a couple of thousand on youtube nearly three Ooh, congrats thank you <laughs> let's not stick to numbers right <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but numbers don't matter guys <laughs> yeah. um but what we want to talk about is how what's the difference between growing your platform organically and buying followers and why both of us are very i don't want to say negatively <laughs> approaching fake followers but no for sure i'm very yeah. much against it and yeah. the reason this conversation come apart is because one of your friends saying that maybe it makes people look more credible yeah, having this word. huge following and we started off with like, so why does someone with 10,000 followers look more credible over someone with 10 years of experience? Yeah, exactly. Because it's very, that's what we've been saying, that it's very different. Uh, it's very important to differentiate, differentiate, what's the word? Yeah, that's <laughs> differentiate between trying to look credible and trying to be credible or to look credible and to actually be credible are two different things. And what's becoming the new normal these days is that it's being more important to look credible than to actually be credible. And many people actually are trying to just look credible. Yeah. And what's very sad, what I think is very sad, is that companies, brands, anyone who's doing business doesn't really care if people are actually credible. They just care that they look credible and they will choose someone to represent their brand or whatever they are doing based on how many followers they have, no matter what platform, only because they think that they will bring possibly bigger be revenue, which, okay, from maybe business point of view, makes sense, mm -hmm. but then they don't know, they don't realize, many of them, that many of these so-called influencers have actually fake followers. Yeah. So the, <laughs> the revenue or whatever... Yeah. Is it not going to be affected? exposure? You will not be affected because they will not actually bring you anyone. Mm -hmm. And I think lots of people don't realize that that's why we are actually talking yeah. about this. And I want to go back to the whole people wanting to look credible rather than being credible. And I think it comes down to you were saying as well is people want their first videos and their first content to go viral and to go big because that's what's in. And the reason we want to highlight all this kind of stuff is actually if you want to be credible and if you want to be a sustainable brand business, even just as a yoga teacher, you need to realize that this whole road to credibility, it's a process and it should be a process. It's like any product that you put on the market. Unfortunately, we're talking about people, right? Like mm -hmm. I am my own product. And I think this is where people's self-worth and their, what's the word am I looking for? things they feel oh, self-conscious about. Mm -hmm. I think that enables them to kind of go the short road and be like, okay, now I need to buy this, this, and this because 
I need to fulfill something, right? Whereas the whole road to this credibility, it should be trial and error, trial and error, and this whole process of learning and redoing and getting to different stages, you're robbing yourself of it for one. And for two, that's what comes with being a professional, is the first products you put on the market are not gonna be perfect and you can't wait for it to be. Yeah. But you need to do it in order to test it, see whether it works, if not change it. And that's the way that you grow. And that's where the credibility comes. It's always having that consistency to show up and give what you're giving at a professional standard. Whereas this whole numbers thing is robbing us from that. Yeah. Am I making sense? Yeah. You do for me. <laughs> Good. I definitely agree that many people don't realize that it's a process like any other that it takes time and in the beginning especially it's very it can be very challenging very mm -hmm. hard and you have to realize that's why we are talking about why the why is so important why you are actually doing it why you are actually trying to build instagram account or big following what's the reason behind it is it just because you want a big following because you want to be accepted in some kind of society yeah. which is based on how many followers you have or mm -hmm. is it to actually send some message some deeper message that you have that you want to share some teaching or you want to share anything you want to share basically or you just want to be yeah. an influencer and because just for the sake of it because i want free stuff and i want to show off my life but i think as well this people doing it yeah okay i want sponsorship i want free stuff this this and this look into why you think that's successful. Yeah. Like surely that should highlight to most people that, okay, there's a hole that I'm trying to fill with this gratification of getting all these three things. And I can honestly say, even you knew me when I had 2000, mm -hmm. I never set out with the intention of growing Instagram. I never set out with the intention of getting big numbers and free sponsorship. I set out with the intention of, okay, yoga changed my life a hell of a lot. I want to share that and this is the way that I've found a bigger kind of market and I've always kind of stuck to that mm -hmm. and it is like you say it should be the why behind it and especially so maybe we're not even talking fitness or professionals but you're talking smaller businesses mm -hmm. it's sticking to those business morals values and standards that okay it will take a longer amount of time but then you've got actual credibility an actual actual people following actual you people. because yeah. they like what you are doing and yeah. what you are spreading instead of just and surely that means more than a free pair of bloody trainers <laughs> yep again it depends what your goal is maybe your goal is i remember when we did a workshop with hero action hero he's a yoga teacher international yoga teacher he said that it actually depends what your goal is because maybe someone's end goal is just to get free stuff mm -hmm. i guess fair enough um, what I'm just saying, I don't like the word influencer just because how they are perceived now. It's like you are, how to say it, you are not influencing people in, in a way to grow or to have better life. You're influencing people to just buy stuff that you are showing them to buy. Cause, and that's now considered as a, as a job. Yeah consumer market and you are basically just walking ad mm. walking advertisement and again fair enough if this is your goal you want to do that I do it but i think you have to be careful because you actually have some power to influence people mm -hmm. and then it, i guess it comes down to values this is another thing as well is i want people to be aware of okay say if you do go into collaboration with a brand and you get all this free stuff don't give away your authenticity, your passion and your content in, not return, but don't give away that kind of wholeness just because you're posting every single day about different brands. Like they're going to use you and tell you to keep posting and do this, this and this, but it needs to be a kind of balance, right? So don't lose that, that thing that you've built that's took you a while to build just because some other brands saying, okay, you need to post this, you need to tell people to do that. Because I think as soon as people start looking and saying, yeah, well, sh all she's doing is feeding me makeup or doing this, this and this, then that brand doesn't really take the hit. Yeah. It's you as a person. 
Yeah. And I've been I've been recently approached by a couple of brands and companies and this is the thing that I realized once I started to being to be approached by all this stuff that none of them actually was things that I I wanted to do. Like part of me was like excited, like wow, I'm I'm being approached by somebody getting free stuff, but then I was like, but is this really what I want to do? Is this or who I want to be? Do I want to sell, be a, like a sellout to sell myself to anything that I get for free only for the sake of getting something for free? Because as I told you even before, uh, I wouldn't mind promoting brands or companies which have the same values I have and companies or brands that I've been already using maybe or stuff that I actually use and that I think it's valuable and it's usable and that I would actually like to recommend to people. But it's different when random company approaches you, oh, we give you this for free, just post for us one picture and tell people to get a discount and buy it. I'm like... So it's never for free. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> going to do that. <laughs> yeah, this is... So even for me, I'll admit, when the first kind of freebies were coming in, I was like, oh, yeah, cool, like, send it me over, especially if it was, like, small businesses in Dubai and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't mind posting on my story for you because that's it. I hardly ever, you hardly never see me post on my page. But I started to see then, again, how people try and exploit that. So they've sent me something for free, and I've spent... <laughs> good amount of time and energy to put on the stories and say they've got this this and this mm -hmm. and highlighting and then they'll message me back and be like yeah but you need to do x amount of posts and stuff for that and, free. and i'm certain like frame of things that you have to yeah. do for and this, so to deserve this point item. one talk if you are going to accept free stuff put down straight away what you're willing to do mm -hmm. and i was the same as you like i remember this one company it was a bottle with a crystal in it to fill up water. And I was like, yeah, it's nice stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I remember them coming back at me with so many like stuff that I had Conditions. to do. And then in my head, I'm thinking, hang on a minute. I don't actually want this thing. Like it, I, mm -hmm. it's, it won't make a difference in my life. Like no offense to anyone who does the bottles of water yeah. with the crystals in it, but then it's a reality check. And it's just thinking, why am I, again, putting myself out there and degrading kind of the brand that I've built mm -hmm. for someone else's gain? Yeah. Who were quite literally trying to exploit me as well. I think the main message we are trying to send with this, with this video is not to hate on everybody who's promoting themselves and not to hate on all the influencers that are promoting brands and stuff. I just think, especially for people who are... Because I know people who are trying to build their platform into something and i know f for a fact that many of these people don't even know why they're doing it mm -hmm. they are just seeing other people having their fabulous lives on instagram and they think oh i want to live like this but they don't realize that this is just a mask just to getting free stuff promoting free stuff and they get sucked in yeah so maybe just before you do that check with yourself what the goal why you're doing this mm -hmm. what's what are your your core values if uh, you want to send any deeper message especially if you get approached by brands maybe check if this is something i would actually use this is something i want or it's just the nice shiny thing that i get for free and let's promote anything just for the sake of getting it for free um, and again this is just my opinion and your opinion you don't, have to, well. you don't have to agree and we don't care. No. <laughs> we just feel like we need to get it out because yeah. we get very passionate about this, about fake following and all that. And um, yeah, I think from my side, that's a, that's a wrap. Would you For like me, to add something? At the end of the day, if you are looking to build yourself and build your own kind of business, stop taking shortcuts and stop kind of selling yourself short and think about long-term goals for you, whether that means bringing other people in or whether that means doing it for yourself. Now, doing it for yourself will be hard and you'll feel like you're not getting the recognition that you deserve, but trust me, at the end of it, you're gonna feel so much more fulfilled by having this, I'm just gonna call it an egg of you, of life that you've created due to your values and no one can take that away. So I think that's it from me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would just like to add that 
what you said about shortcuts, the more all the shortcuts you will take during the process, they will reflect later on because you cannot skip some stuff and just think that this is going to get you somewhere. Like you, unfortunately or fortunately, you have to go through all that, even hard stuff, even shitty shitty stuff because that's what actually building you as a person or as a brand or as a small company whatever you are because the more shortcuts you will do the more shortcuts will backlash on you later on it will bite you in the ass yeah <laughs> right yeah that's it that's enjoy a, guys <laughs> that's a wrap <laughs> if you have anything to add to this let us know it's a uh, at sir sir s-i-r short for sarah with a h but s-i-r underscore y and at Matt Bendik if you disagree let us know why if you agree good for you (laughs) and that's it (laughs) that's all from our side have a wonderful day and peace and love peace and love see you in the next video peace